uploaded a video, but I'm out here on my Segway 9Bot Max doing DoorDash and Uber Eats right now. It got a little bit slow. It's currently 4.50 p.m., so it should pick up in uh, about 10, 15 minutes for that dinner rush. Uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna kind of just share with you my setup here. So I'm in Pasadena, California. I got the Segway 9Bot Max. This is a pretty awesome scooter. Um, as you can see, I did some uh, modifications to it here for food deliveries. So first thing I'm gonna go ahead and share with you, I'm using the Samsung phone here. My dash has been paused because I am declining quite a few orders here. Apparently uh, DoorDash thinks uh, this scooter can go 20 miles away from here. So they're giving me all types of weird, crazy orders that are just way too far out. So I've been declining, declining. So DoorDash decided to uh, punish me and put me in timeout. But I can go ahead and let's just go ahead and resume the dash here. So, so far I've made $36.50 on DoorDash. I'm also running Uber Eats, made $5.94. As you can see, I am in Pasadena, California. So this is an area where you can definitely use a scooter like the Segway Dying Bot Max. You just gotta be selective with your orders and don't go too far out. I typically stay under two miles. So I'll take all the orders that are two miles and under. Anything over two miles is gonna take me way too long to deliver and I'm gonna drain my battery way too quick. So as you can see here, you know, I got both apps running, multi-apping over here. That's the best way to make money uh, when you are trying to do this gig work. I got turn signals here. I got mirrors that I've installed, the Handlebar X expansion right here, extender. So I installed that as well. Of course, you got to have a helmet if you're out here. There's a lot of crazy drivers in California in general. Well, just everywhere there's crazy drivers. I got a little storage bag here so I can just keep some items that I need. I got hand sanitizer because, of course, we're still fighting that COVID and monkeypox. So try to keep my hands nice and clean between deliveries. But yeah, this is a must, in my opinion, if you're going to be riding a scooter um, and you're trying to do lane changes, you're trying to make right, left-hand turns. These lights are awesome. They make a huge difference when you are doing food deliveries on a scooter. Again, I do have turn signals here. So this is the controller. As you can see, I got turn signals here in the front. And then I also got turn signals here on the back so all this stuff i purchased off of amazon the turn signals the mirrors the handlebar extender um let me see here i don't have any see i don't got any uh comments right now but it's all good so this uh i just picked this up i just got this delivered yesterday the turn signals this makes a huge difference as well you know just indicating to other drivers that you're trying to make a left hand turn you're trying to make a right hand turn so you don't have to be signaling there with your your hands and you know they're trying to guess which way you're trying to go this also has like some hazard lights function to it as well as you can see and then to the back so pretty cool definitely recommend this if you're interested in turn signals, these are really good ones that you can purchase off of Amazon. Um, let me go ahead and share what else I got here. So I threw another little light down here just to give me some extra visibility at night. And you can kind of see the front setup here, how it looks. And then I went ahead and bought the Segway 9Bot Max seat because of course if you're standing for hours your feet are going to be hurting so this provides just you know just some extra comfort when you are riding your scooter with these long deliveries you know you can take a seat and you can be riding around on your scooter so and it folds down and it, it, it's really cool i like this seat i definitely recommend it as well this is my food delivery bag and i've mounted it here on this basket that i purchased off of amazon as well i had to kind of make some modifications to it add some padding there uh, just so um, it's not scraping up against the back seat but as you can see all food goes inside here drinks goes inside here hey big john tech reviews thanks for joining the live stream yeah i'm just showing them uh you know sharing with you my nine bot max what i'm doing 
lately uh, just doing these food deliveries DoorDash Uber Eats Grubhub pretty much all on the scooter if the weather's not good I'll use my car uh, how long can I go on a single charge about four hours I can go about four hours on a single charge and then I have to charge it up but again it, I can make it go a little bit further it just depends on the orders that I'm taking as long as they're under two miles I'm trying to avoid hills I can make the battery last longer but typically about four hours then I have to charge it up again and uh, I can head back out and start doing deliveries I got a fast charger that Segway sells for this so the original charger that comes with it takes about five to six hours to charge and with the fast charger uh, from Segway, it charges in three hours, about three hours. So you get that super fast charge and it gets you back out on the road. You can take a break for three hours and uh, hit that, you know, dinner deliveries. Delivery bag here was purchased off of Amazon. It's insulated. It has this divider right here with Velcro. So I can throw orders up on top and then I can go ahead and remove this. And then I have this carrier here purchased off of Amazon as well for uh, drinks keeps it insulated it zips closed that I have another delivery bag here as well so I can keep the drinks there and then sorry I don't got a tripod I'm just using my one hand here to do all this and then I can throw this one back in the bottom keep everything nice secure insulated and then I can just zip it all up at the end and make those deliveries but yeah purchase this bag this is a really good bag you can get off of Amazon as well purchase this lock you got to have a lock if you're out here doing deliveries because somebody's gonna try to steal this scooter if you leave it out and uh, so this is a really good lock as well I'll make like an official video if you guys are interested later and I can link all the stuff that I purchased off of Amazon in the description of the video um, but yeah a lock is a must out here or pretty much anywhere because I mean if you leave this if you leave this outside outside of a store or outside of somebody's house somebody's gonna try to steal it guaranteed but yeah it's just a quick little video here live stream of my setup uh, thanks big John uh, I haven't tried to carry the charger with you I typically just will go home and then charge up the scooter but that's a good idea if I can find I'm on like I'm in this parking lot here where they have different restaurants so maybe I can find one that I can kind of you know uh, plug in and see if they have an outlet but we have like Mendocino Farms over here Five Guys uh, Cafe Panda Express so this is kind of a hot spot area right here and uh, of course then you have all the apartments here to the back but yeah this is sunny sunny California right here and uh Let's go ahead and take a look at the DoorDash. So as you can see here on the DoorDash app, it's pretty red in my area. It's pretty much like this all the time in Pasadena. It's just kind of slowed down right now. It'll show you like the different hotspots you can go to. So I'm not too far from these hotspots. So it's just a matter of time until I get a really good order. So sometimes it's a waiting game with this DoorDash. The same thing with Uber Eats. As you can see, Uber is pretty hot in this area it's all grayed out that means this is a busy area of Pasadena so yeah so I'm just running both of these apps whichever one gives me the best order the shortest distance with the highest pay that's the one I'm going to take but yeah that's pretty much it with my you know scooter setup here so far it's it's functional it works um, I get the food delivered nice safe and it's either stays really cold in the bag or really hot and uh yeah so far the segway 9 bot max has been a really nice scooter um it can go yeah about four hours on a single charge making deliveries and uh yeah really 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 good scooter here i really like it i might upgrade in the future to something that has a little bit more uh, miles per hour this one can go about 18 miles per hour if you're going downhill it can hit about 21 22 miles per hour um, but it's really good on range so it's estimated to get 40 miles of range if you're driving it you know like on a flat ground no hills and you're on like the lowest power mode um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and share with you how much miles I already got in this Segway here because I've been using it quite a bit so let me connect this to Bluetooth and you can see 
the amount of battery I got left. So, so far I got 58% battery remaining and I've, so far since I've owned this, I've traveled 389.7 miles. So I've been using this quite a bit. Actually, it's not connected. Let's see what it says. Okay, so 390.5 miles and my 54% battery remaining. So it's a really good, really good scooter here, I gotta say. See if we got an order here. Nothing yet. So I might have to switch locations. So this is kind of a cool hotspot that I like. I tip I was getting some good orders coming in, but I know another area where I might have to head to, which might be a little bit busier because I think this area might be just oversaturated with uh, with drivers right now. So it's a busy area, but I think there's just too many drivers in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and switch up to a different area. But yeah, that's it for this live stream. Thanks for joining everybody. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I'll definitely try to make some more videos. You know, um, I've gotten really into the Uber Eats, the DoorDash deliveries, using the scooter. Hey, we got an order here, so let's check it out. So this one here, as you can see, Jamba Juice, it's two items, 3.7 miles, but it's gonna take me further than what I want to go. Again, I wanna stay under two miles, so I'm going to go ahead and decline this and I'm going to go ahead and just say distance is too far because that on this scooter it's too far in a car. Yeah, that's not a problem. But again, we're on the scooter and we're trying to make the most amount of money with using the least amount of battery possible. So, but yeah, I'll definitely be making some more videos. Um, what phone are you using for your apps and maps? Uh, I'm still using the Samsung Galaxy A71 5G. I think that's what it is. I think I got it last year, but it's been a really good phone. Battery seems to do really well. I've just drained it on, drained the battery because I've had the screen on, full brightness, mm -hmm. running multiple apps, GPS. But for the most part, this this phone is really good. I got a power bank plugged into this bag right here. The power bank's in there, mm -hmm. and uh, so it gives me that extra juice when I need it. Uh, there was another question here. What's the max speed on your ride? Uh, it goes about 18 miles per hour if you're just like on flat surface but if you're going downhill it'll hit like 21 miles per hour so around here it's it, it's pretty congested in Pasadena so 20 miles per hour is actually really good of you know going in and out of traffic and commuting in this area just because it's like super congested in Pasadena California so 20 miles per hour is uh, pretty much like the max speed on this. But uh, yeah, thanks everybody. I really do appreciate you guys joining the live stream. Yeah, and I'll try to make some more uh, videos coming up soon. I'll try to do some ride along videos. I'm going to try to get another phone mount so I can pretty much uh, vlog. I can record while I'm riding and, you know, take you guys along on this DoorDash Uber Eats food delivery journey that I'm doing here on a scooter. So I have a car, like I said, I'm not going I'm not trying to use my car unless the weather's bad, but if the weather's good, how it is pretty much 98% of the time here in California, I'm going to be using this scooter. I might get a second scooter to add to the rotation. So if this one battery dies, I can just go home, charge this up and grab the fresh charge scooter and get an extra bag and pretty much do a similar setup to another scooter so I can just keep working and just keep going making those deliveries and making that money but yeah that's pretty much it guys I uh, appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to join this live stream I will talk to you guys soon